So our next matchup should be Dragon versus Rewind. So now, we're going to potentially see a little bit more Jackie. She's been... Oh, we, we will. From she's Rewind, been 100%. the hottest of the hot topic today. Uh, but it's a matchup which... And she's the best character in the game for a reason. You know? It's a matchup <laughs> that like, Dragon, a reason Dragon has been extremely versed in the Jackie Briggs matchup. He's gone against almost exclusively Jackie I today. I mean, he hasn't lost to a single Jackie player. Preparation. He's ready for this matchup. He studied it the hardest. He looked at his path. He was like, I'm going to fight a lot of Jackie today, I think. So he, was, he, he really was as prepared as he possibly could have been. Combined with the fact that Cetrion can fight upgraded quite effectively. You know, she's got the range, she's got the buttons. But importantly, she kind of has moves that have those diagonal angles. And if a Jackie's constantly trying to jump in at you, and she's constantly trying to just get that inch, those downwards diagonal kind of projectiles, they stop that movement. And they are wonderful at shutting down momentum-based characters. That's probably been the biggest thing um, to do with the matchup that we've seen Dragon do all day is kind of reactionary instant jump punch. I'm not sure if it's a jump one or a jump two, but we've seen him go for it a lot where instant jump punch into the beam. You know, we see it so many times just on reaction. Jackie leaves the ground, you do that. Best case scenario, you swat her out of the air and do damage. Worst case scenario, you're fine. But you showed the Jackie player that you're ready for it, right? Which, you know, especially at this level play, when you get people like Rewind, and they're going to see you go for things. And even if it doesn't work, they're going to go like, oh, he's doing that? Damn, I guess that's a thing. Or, you know, oh, he knows this matchup in this, this kind of way. And it's sending all that information, which might, by itself, save you some trouble down the line. But like we said, Dragon, he is, it's not been free for him today against Jackie players. A lot of, a, a lot of like, you know, Nivex uh, particularly made him really sweat for uh, their first match of the day. Um, but it's he's won. He's, he's won all the he's won all the all, all the Jackie games today. The Dragon is looking the most comfortable in this matchup, I think, of anyone today. Make sure everyone at home is following the action. Follow NRS Esports on Twitter with all the information you want. All things competitive MK11. Shout out to Astro for supporting the event with audio equipment, the A40 headset being used along with the mix amp, and shout out to Roadrunner Records for supporting this tour in general and bringing the good. Grace of Metal. Hell yeah, It's a competitive dude. Mortal Kombat. I'd like it no other way. But going into now, Dragon versus Rewind. Very hard to call. Both players extremely hungry for this. And I think that, honestly, it's another one of those matches that is incredibly hard to call. Uh, I think that I Dragon mean, this, is going this, into this. This is a pivotal match, because as soon as this match is over, we know our top four. When this match is out of the way, we know who our top four are going to be. We have Sonic Fox and Ninja Killer waiting in that winner's side, in that winner's finals. And we have... Um, Deoxys. Yeah, but I, I, was just, I was like, no, I, co it, I completely worry. blanked on the name. I, I could see Deoxys' face in my brain. I was like, oh. But Deoxys, of course, on that loser side top four. Only one spot left, and it's going to go to Rewind or Dragon. Man, I mean, this is just a, a matchup of Rewind who's hungry. He's hungry for this win, but so is Dragon. Dragon extremely prepared for the Jackie Briggs, that's for sure. The matchup he studied for the hardest. Looks like that's going to be the <laughs> for matchup good reason, for evidently. another time. But Dragon. He's going to play that range game, keep Jackie you away. I stood with Shinnok, Cetrion. I stood for nature's balance. Still counts as taking his side. Okay, here we go. Fight. Both players battling out for top four. Beast Coast Dragon, UIU Rewind. Who's going to take it? Best of five. Immediately starting things off with that whiff punish. One of the many advancing mids to worry about. And there it is again, back to back. That's going to be Half-Life gone. Oh, oh, oh no! Kind of Drop the ender, that's unfortunate. That is. The hard bit was done. And then the final section. Problem is, Dragon has taken a lot of damage already. And this is Rewind's aggression. Two drops in a row, but this one results in a punish and a loss of Dragon. Position. Optic to save the crushing blow as well. Could have taken bigger damage, but no doubt sees that breakaway. Kept it grounded. There's a big hit for Rewind. Look at oh. the jump in. Natural barrier, so active. An amazing anti jump tool. Oh! But that's two times now. Dragon has gone for a poke, and okay, Rewind has just got that okay. perfect jump in at the right time. Dragon, that's it, right? You've got to be careful. If you, you can fight characters with like traditionally foolproof anti-airs, but if you time it right and you go for that blast, you're probably going to hit any button in the game. It's so dangerous. A nice conversion to Geisa. Guaranteed teleport just to get out of the corner as well. And it's less about pressure, more about Dragon just trying to keep this full screen game. You don't want to let upgrade it anywhere near you. You know, we've been seeing why all tournament long. But Cetrion has more options than most at keeping into big damage. Nice little chunk of change right there, but now another conversion. That's where she wants. No anti air. Very risky to anti air a Jackie Briggs, and it is why she's so scary. You have answers for what she does, but if you miss that execution or she beats you, you're taking a ton of damage. Oh, Dragon trying to backdash to get out of the way, and there's a perfect punish. The round is going to go to Dragon. Raise your aspirations. 
Congratulations. All right, going to be dominant either way so far in game number one. Yo, that trophy though. The right. I feel like we haven't talked about the trophy enough today. I mean, I can't That's even begin like to super heavy. I can't even begin to describe how heavy that thing is. It's horrendous. I don't even know if any of our players can even lift that thing, but they will surely try. A conversation for about an hour from now, I suppose, is right in the face. Get out of it. Press on. Yep. Already rewind actually. Trying to going through the uh, the blast just to make sure his jump doesn't get trip guarded. Sure, Dragon to get up nice and quickly, but the plethora of mids make the grabs really scary. This is a terrible situation for Dragon. The low again and keeping the side. So Dragon hasn't even got the screen to work with. Again, the damage is insane, and this is looking kind of bleak here. Green kick. Enough? Wow, yeah. Shoes out. That was perfectly calculated by Rewind to do not only just enough chip, but to also plow through last breath, should it be there. Really well played from Rewind, taking that first game. But it's one he had to fight for. But it's it's what Rewind is bringing with this Jackie is just a sixth sense for when to go in. He's had to just get through a Foxy Grandpa's Shang Tsung with that just minefield of ground eruption. Now he's having to go up against Dragon, the best Cetrion all about the Who range has game. been winning against upgraded players all day. Yet somehow yeah, Rewind sucks. is finding that magic moment consistently to just get in and stay in. But now again, that, that is already like the fifth or sixth time we've seen Dragon do that in this set alone. Just that hard, just duck under a high and then just punish accordingly. It's hard to do that, especially at this level of play. Dragon finds the opportunity over and over and over again. Now that's a big thing in the matchup. That ground pound is a low in the air that that upgrader does. It is one of the few things in her kit that is straight up, if you block it, she dies. But because it's a low and it's used so sparingly by people, it's not being blocked, it's hitting every time. And Which the you know is putting that seed of doubt in the player's minds when they face off against Ooh. it. Oh. oh, wait, what? <laughs> I mean, she's at the full 360, right? Spinning around. She is spinning right round, of course. I wouldn't be surprised if her active frames are across her entire body during that. Right, no punish. Rewind had the right idea. Trash. Oh, break away from Rewind. He thinks he can take the round. Uh oh, and, and he, he might, might have... No! He had the right idea and he got the opening. Also, I like that end of the Dragon just putting a rewind full screen straight away. Start the round with the positional advantage. Absolutely. Round two. Oh, right. What's he going to do from this? Dragon's in the oh best my case. God. The perfect read. That this is was now so going, good. It's going from rewind making the perfect chance to go in to Dragon sniffing it out and punishing it. That's now twice he's got it. Speaking of punish, though, clean opening there from rewind. Needs to poke for his troubles. Health free, even the nice anti air there from Dragon. And this is a bit of a back and forth right now. Another button press. This time it's going to be good. Dragon just sticking out one button too many at the wrong time in game one. Not seeing the same thing at all in game two. The big thing is Dragon's just able to keep the distance. I feel like in the first game, we were almost just point blank most of the time, whereas Dragon's actually finding space as, as hard as it is to do against a player like Rewind and a character like Jackie. It's managing oh. to get the distance, but now back to the wall. Rewind. Oh no. Yeah. His execution failed him for most of that round, but the important thing he was a ton of over. Dead. He still has to get in. The natural barrier dragon, get off me. Tries to bait. I mean, I respect the attempt. I totally respect it. Fatal Blow was in play. If he just got the opening guy, so that would have been round. Final round. Fight. Definitely seems to be a matchup of the space, though. If dragon has screen space to work with, he can absolutely make it work. But back to the wall, point blank. This looks like a rough one to deal with. These grabs will just put the biggest spanner in the works. You think you're confident and content taking all this Jackie pressure, and then she eventually grabs you. That was a nice answer. The active frames of the down three. Oh, the punish. Straight back into the corner. Wonderful throw tech there from Dragon. Opened up, though. It's just damage. This adds up. Chunk by chunk, especially this late on in the round. The leap just to reposition. Rewind. Fully in the driver's seat again. He isn't have to give up his turn though. We'll see if Dragon can get anything from this. The leap too good. The flawless block, but too risky. No, the jump wins. That could have been the game. Okay, Dragon. Comeback has to start now. He has fatal blow. He can absolutely do it with one good confirm. And this health is not going to quite kill, but it will get close. He's fine. Oh back. no! Oh, oh wait, what? He commits to the whole string just to reappear. Oh god, rewind. He's had this game won three times now. Oh, and it would come down to the ground pound, wouldn't it? And you can see from Dragon, the head shake and then the nod of acknowledgement. It's like, damn, I can't believe it. Rewind is playing with his heart on his sleeve. He's going so guttural with his reads. He just feels like the time is right to go in. He's been right most of the time. And this is a matchup that Dragon, he spent all day 
taking out upgraded players, and he's made it look pretty simple. You you know this is a situation that Dragon would definitely not be happy with. To, to beat every single upgraded player throughout his bracket of upgraded players all day just to ultimately fall to rewinds, like, you know he's not going to be happy with that, that outcome. But we have to talk about the fundamental point of why there have been so many Jackie Briggs players in this bracket to begin with. She's good. Right. And if you are a professional Fight. player, you got to give yourself the best tools for the job. And if this character's good, ouch, by the way. Wait a minute. Did she just blow through the blast there? I think so. Because I'm pretty sure that only crushing blows if she absorbs a projector. Or, I, I believe it's that or first hit. I oh, could yeah, be wrong, that's but I'm pretty sure it's one of those double barrel ones. You almost, if, it, if that is the case, you almost never see it used in that circumstance. Although I'm pretty sure the, uh, the, uh, the barrier would block the shrapnel. Or Dragon he's not, should, right? he's not going to complain about it because now he's uh, in a position now to get a grab. And now rewinds back to the wall. Dragon has to try so hard to just keep him here. Good pick up. And the jump kick at the same time. A little chunk of damage knocked down. And now from here, the rock. This rock game case, it's going to be a leap and enough damage to just Just a casual 29% projectile. But only happens if you jump. As the re paying off. Fight. Still rewinds. Drive to see, honestly. He's got such a good lead here of games, but Dragon fighting back in. Yeah, that interactable does so much damage. You just seldom see it, so you don't see it every day. No meter, but still 18% damage for a string by itself. That's not going to tickle at all. And there's the lead chases down Ooh, the back. Oh, last minute. I mean, the splash damage of the low ground pound, it will chase down that low nicely. No, but that's, that's it, punch. though. The, the reason we see the, the low work so much, remember, like, jumping attacks on the way down are overheads, and the ground pound is a low every time. So if you do it right before you hit the floor, people are used to seeing characters fly at them, and they, they stand block on the way down because it's overhead jumping, right? But Rewind has been using that low ground pound to mess that up so well. A lot of confidence from Dragon here. We might actually see why. Oh, hang on a minute. Has bar. There's another one in the tank too, if yeah. he needs it. At this stage, Fatal Blow can totally win the game. And that's why Rewind's sitting there holding the pressure. He can afford to take a grab now, but he can't afford the rest. This is going to be it. And the Fatal Blow, just for good measure, it. A perfect game for Dragon. Quite ironic considering the, the way the second game went so bad for him was because he was in the corner and was then immediately able to do the exact same thing back to Rewind in such a polarizing way. Now Dragon, he has had people almost make three game comebacks against him a couple of times today. He now has to do it to Rewind. Can it be done? I don't, honestly, I don't know, but I I want to see it. I really want to see it at the very least a game five because we, we need to see that game. Well, if there's a time for it, it's now World Finals. There ain't going to be a, another opportunity for this season. And now is an immediate pickup there from Dragon. Keeping things unbreakable as always. Decent chunk of damage into a good situation now. He's pressing forward. And rewind consistently. Let's never forget the female characters. They're a little bit more susceptible to that dash punch crushing blow. Okay, there's the pickup. And once more, just looking for his opportunity. Oh, -ho! Flawless block is going to be good here. Now he's just looking for more bit by bit. Staying down the buttons, Dragon. Doesn't want to overextend. Yeah, rewind. He's looking for a whip punish. He's just looking for that one opportunity. Dragon with Fatal Blow just became a million times more scary. Especially at this health. Remember, Jackie is that 950 health. This bar is not as big as it looks. Uh oh. Oh, that could have been it. Oh, wow. Actually, missed. Might be the first time I've ever seen that not connect. Oh, the block of the punish. We see. The change, Dragon now ready for the ground pound. We've pretty much never seen that. Is it entirely just to throw them off their rhythm, get them uncomfortable on block? Because if they block it that one time, it'll cost you the round. That's exactly what happened there. Round two, fight. Wow, that's a breathing space for Dragon, if anything. And now he's a lot more comfortable. Full screen, Cetrion. Her grabs put her in a great position oh. for the instant jump in. Rewind shades of game one, where that just consistently hit. With punish again from Rewind, looking for it. Oh, big ant, yeah, Dragon. As this soon as he wide. sees that Rewind was like using so much of that bar, the less bar you have, the less likely you are to go for those bursts, because the, the payout isn't quite the same. Oh, okay. Rewind looks a little bit shy of the whip punishes here, though. Like, he's looking for them, but he's not quite committing. Dragon is having some pretty unique answers here. The backdash to just try and get out of a dangerous range. Any of the pressure, whip punish, though. Natural barrier is not going to work out. Whiffs the string, but no punish again. A little bit quick to recover on that one. Rewind whiffs the button again. Here comes Dragon. And it's re to grab consistently. 
Rewind we're is not one of the like, like, like tech attempts in these throws and rewind. He's just content to just like take the throw and know you'll survive. But now you get lower on health, the more dangerous that becomes. Dragon knows that he's he's playing with fire as he goes in for the air rock. Yeah, he doesn't go in for the boulder right there. Going back into a swift character select. This is a turnaround from Dragon. Far more defensive and less susceptible to just being jumped in on with the blast. He's sticking out less buttons at a close range where the jump just becomes a threat. Cetria. Now, what does Rewind do? This is just a mental reset. There's no way he wants to just restart match after a loss like that. You've got to take that momentum I mean, this, away no, this, this is make or break. This is game five. One of these guys is going home right here, right now. If you have time to take, speak to your coach, think about changes, or even if you go straight back in and you just want to give yourself a, a, a few moments of peace, just think about it. This is the time to do it. You have to remember, there is a serious amount of money on the line. This is the World Championship Finals for Mortal Kombat 11. This is make or break. Potentially Rewind's last chance here. It is for Dragon as well, but with Dragon winning those games, he's going into this with the most momentum. And momentum at this late in the tournament, that is a great deal. Especially in a matchup like this, you know, where you can just get over, you can get impatient, you can get over aggressive, and Dragon will chew you up Jackie for it. Briggs. Looks like he's going in with Jackie once more. This is the character he wants to rock with. It's just the final moments where Dragon is just being way too defensive. So hard to crack into. But, but an incredible adjustment from Dragon. Nonetheless, we have to remember, he was down two games in, in a convincing fashion. In a matchup, he has been dominating all day. Fight. Okay, yeah, here, so we, here we go. Final game. Dragon versus Rewind. Yeah, only Rewind one of these started players. it with just a normal jump in, too. Only one of these players is making it through. The other one's going home. This is absolutely make or break. And so far, Dragon has a good start. See the light. Back to back grab. This time, Tech. He says, get off me. The natural barrier. Watch it, mate. Uh-oh, the change of momentum. And this time it's going to be a rewind. Back-to-back -back grab, good throw tech. Tries to anti-air, but again, a bit of an odd exchange. That's actually not the first time that specific string has avoided the blast too. I wonder if that's some more matchup knowledge we've seen from Dragon. Knowing that you can't just blast your way through that one the same way you can most of the other buttons. Oh, next time, just built the bar, but no breakaway. Rewind goes down, Dragon, match point. This is scary for Rewind. Back to the corner, which means all that real estate for Cetrion. But it looks like so far, Dragon wants to press the advantage. What? I mean, that's was it. That? He commits active. They move him out of danger, and they're harder to whip punish. Because if they're active and you press it, oh, God. Yo, that's the Jackie effect. It's really hard for Jackie to uppercut people's throws, but it's really hard for everyone to uppercut hers, too. All right, this is Rewind. That He's hungry. Sword. He's hungry for this. And he wants to bring it into a final round situation. But Dragon just didn't even have the crushing blow left. Dragon just wants, go away, leave me alone. Oh. Scary situation, tries to anti cross up. Doesn't work out though. Uh oh, rewind. Has to watch out here. Almost has his fatal blow ready to rock for the dash punch. Uh -oh, getting this met. is bad. This is bad for rewind. Now, can he do it? The wake up up three. Doesn't get scouted oh, out. I can no, no, the drop! Rewind with a game losing drop potentially. That's going to be a heartbreaker if Dragon takes this now. Oh no! And after all that rewind, that one final drop, that, I mean, he had Fatal Blow. I think that would have killed. But wasn't meant to be, and Dragon is able to keep it together on the back of a stressful three game comeback. It was another game five. Unfortunate to go down that way, but I mean, high pressure, high tension situation. Rewind really brought everything he had there. It's just a shame that it ended the way it did. Uh, that was a great change of momentum. Fatal Blow was locked in, had the chance to go for a leap. I'm pretty sure he had the meter to confirm that too. Uh, by all accounts, we should have gone into a final round, but it just goes to show, just at it, this it level does of play, sometimes happen. one smallest mistake, something as simple as just, you dropped your combo. Happens to the best of them. Uh, there's really nothing that else you some can of say about that. Others. Yeah, but, uh, but the, the, the point is, those kind of costly mistakes, in hindsight, they are the easiest ones to correct. You, yes. know, you know you had the right choice. But in that you situation, had the right that, that's where he just hurts the most. But I want to say you know, huge shout outs to Rewind. Rewind has had a tremendous year of pro competition. Um, still one of the younger competitors that we have, already an EVO champion, managed to get top eight of the, of, of, of the pro competition for Mortal Kombat 11. Like the, the resume just keeps going on and on and on. And I have absolutely no doubt that we'll continue to see tremendous things from this young man as we go through the years. Even though his tournament is over today it is absolutely not the last time we'll be seeing rewind it's not going to be the end of his journey and that's the bottom line